Hello there, I'm Juan Pablo Garcia Sosa, or JPEX. I was born in Colombia, I grew up in Bogota, I'm currently in Berlin. I'm a designer, researcher, and artist fascinated by the clash between emerging technologies and grassroots popular culture in tropical territories. I've been investigating for over seven and eight years how technologies are being misused or reappropriated in the tropics and develop other understandings and systems and basically other uh, scenarios and realities and words that would have been otherwise unthought in the so-called global north. I'm interested in various forms of knowledges, designs and technologies, driving forces that continuously shape and reshape the world we live in and in my opinion haven't been sufficiently influenced yet by inputs coming from outside of the global north. This is something that has been pointed out by Grigianist theories, Walter Rodney, the Colombian post-development theories, Arturo Escobar, perspectives as well from Portuguese theories, Boaventura de Sousa Santos. Basically, all of them revolve around this imposed idea of development, asymmetrical relationships he has established between the so-called developed countries and the third world developing countries. We live in a world of modern binaries, dualities and economies in which we have this distinction between nature and culture, human and subhuman, civilized and the savage, west and the east, the north and the south. This leaves very little to known space for all the grayscale and shades that lay in between the black and white polarities. Besides that, like these modern dualities have some embedded hierarchies in them. So what is done in one side of the line is taken as valid and serious and then what is done in the other side of the line is basically invisibilized. That's why I'm so emphatic with the introduction of the tropics as a region and looking how one could potentially introduce the tropics in the equation of the north-south duality to start breaking these modern dualities we live in. By introducing the tropics, potentially we could uh, move towards pluriversal understandings of the planet. And as the Zapatistas in Mexico have been saying, being a world where many words fit. Opening up the space for the tropics could potentially open up the space for other regions to follow. The tropics, a region that has been historically been over exoticized, exploited and undervalued. Reclaiming back the tropics is acknowledging and recognizing that the tropics is a place where knowledge, science and technologies can emerge. Also reflect around the idea of how me as a Colombian can sometimes relate more to someone in Kenya and in Vietnam than someone in Canada, potentially because we share similar climates and notions of time, or possibly because we share similarly diverse environments and landscapes. Very often uh, the tropics are described as these cocktails of sun diversity and crisis that make people face realities that challenge what is possible and what's not almost every day. People um, develop different responses to, to relate to their environments. One example of this is what I see as the tropical resilience that you find in indigenous traditional knowledge that is not so much focused on the idea of resistance and radicalism, but is more focused on elasticity and going with the flow, developing symbiotic relationships to an environment very much interested in the ways tropicals relate to the environments and manage to turn around things. In fact, ancient Greek roots of tropics is tropikos and it means to turn. I'm particularly interested in the tropikos as a mindset that you see expressed in the way how tropicals relate to their natural environments but also to the second nature. This takes various forms of tropical hacking ranging from a uh, Brazilian Jaitinho and Gambiarra to the Indian Jugat and to the Latin America Rebusque and Echisa, these various forms of magical hackerism uh, are only uh, some examples uh, of how people uh, manage to turn around things and bypass the established through work rounds. Uh, I find enormous potential in them. I would like to see how they uh, start a dialogue between all these various forms of magical hackerism. My project is called Futura Tropica, and Futura Tropica is a decentralized network 
of grassroots community networks in the tropics. The place with the idea of the wood wide web and the way how trees are interconnected and communicate with each other through their roots in combination with fungi as mycelium and basically redistribute their nutrients in rhizomatic lateral ways. This network works with the so-called interplanetary file system protocol, which is a P2P distributed network which enables to host files in several nodes that can be powered with uh, Raspberry Pis, for example. It doesn't require high-speed internet. Each node or rhizome is a DIY local network for exchanging local resources in which people can connect through their phones or devices, but it's also complemented with a USB stick distribution system similar as the one in El Paquete Semanal or the one seen in Colombia. Currently, the network starts with nodes or resumes in Kinshasa and Dear Congo, in Bogota, Colombia, and in Bengaluru, India. Later on, uh, Ouagadougou and Burkina Faso will be added, and Manila and the Philippines. The idea is that this network grows, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. We keep growing uh, laterally in the tropical belt. One thing that is going to be explored in the network is the idea of how we transition from Floss, a uh, free libre open source software to flow technologies, systems that are meant to mutate and be well. We were able to develop an image, a downloadable image for plug and play connection to the Futura Tropica network. The bigger picture, the aim of the project is to redistribute the networks of technologies currently concentrated and dominated by the so-called Big Five with inputs not only coming from open source technologies, but from technologies from the Tropicos. We distribute the networks of imaginaries currently dominated by cultural imaginaries from US, America, Europe, and basically the global north. Breaking these dualities and dichotomies and making some space for the migrants and the gray zones that lay in between, hopefully we can reduce the verticality embedded in the way in which we relate to other people other environments and the planet. We can aim for more horizontality and lateral ways of relating. Thank you IBM for supporting the Futura Tropica project. Yeah, hopefully the tropics can become a key player in the planetary conversation.